Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Mr. Attitude Era 316. I'm back on YouTube. Um, here to make yet another DVD review. So this is a second consistent review of the week. Um, based on Maverick 4179, I'll be reviewing a documentary on Hitman Heart, uh, Wrestling with Shadows, and the Life and Death of Owen Hart. All right. Um. So yeah, before I want to make this review, I just want to say to subscribe. I just want to give a shout out to Maverick uh, 4179. I hope I'm saying it right. His link will be in the description box. So go subscribe to him and remember to subscribe to me. All right. Now I can just tell from this camera view that this light right here is bugging you or disturbing the view. So I might have to move a bit. Hopefully this will be good. All right. Um. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Now. As you know, this is not a WWE production film. This is actually a documentary from Paul J. Um, a lot of a lot of great reviews from a lot of great uh, stuff. I mean, like look at it. I mean, you got Hollywood Reporter saying that it's astonishing. You got the Wall Street Journal saying it's truly a knockout, a knock, a knock. Oh my God, a knockout film. Sorry, I can't speak today. Uh, you got Hollywood Hogan. Now, this one surprised me. Brutally Honest, a must-see. Hmm. Chicago Tribune, compelling. And so much more. All right. Um, there's a little description on the back that says, Bret Hart, five-time champion of the World Wrestling Federation, uh, sits in the hotel room one day before the most important fight of his life. What Brett doesn't know is that he will be the target of the biggest double cross in the history of professional wrestling. Hitman Heart Wrestling with Shadows is a film about loyalty and betrayal, values and power. Um, it is a story of the real battle between Bret Hart and Vince McMahon, owner of the World Wrestling Federation. Now you can tell that this was made a little while ago because they're using the terms WWF, World Wrestling Federation and everything on like that. Um, I believe this was made in either 99 or 2000, whichever. Um, obviously after 99 because it also showcases the life and death of Owen Hart. Alrighty, now let's get on with the review. Um, to be honest, a lot of people, this guy he told me that a lot of people, uh, no this guy who requested the video, he told me that a lot of people said it was very good, so I just want to know a little about it. And you know what? Those people are exactly right. This is a very, very astonishing documentary. I'm really intrigued by what has happened to Brett's career. I mean, it's amazing how a guy like Brett had a terrible ending to his legendary career. Uh, we all know that this whole thing is over between Vince and Brett. I mean, you know, they forgive each other or something like that. Brett's, uh, Brett's making appearances in WWE once in a while. Whenever it, whenever it takes place in Toronto or Canada. So, yeah. Um, basically, it's really good to know about the past when you're a wrestling fan. And this, this event that happened between Brett and Vince is probably the most important event that's ever happened in wrestling history. And I, and I repeat this many times because... A guy like Brett the Hitman Hart screwed in his hometown is not only betrayal, but also basically, uh, how can I put it? Uh, it's not only betrayal, but it's also, it's also like really, really sad because Brett Hart deserves, you know, Unanimous amount of respect from Vince, and this is how it turns out. But anyways, um, let's just go. Let's just let's just talk about this whole thing. Uh, it not only talks about the Montreal screw job that has occurred, uh, it also talks about Brett's career. Um, it even talks about how he got to the World Wrestling Federation. How um, I'm trying to remember because I haven't watched this in a while, but I watched it many times. Uh, it also talked about. Brett's adventures in the WWF, how the WWF creative actually ruined his character. I mean, 
you know, he was he was this typical baby face turned into a heel against Stone Cold Steve Austin, which didn't make sense, first of all, because Stone Cold was a bad guy. How did he become the bad guy eventually? So, yeah, that was a heel thing. And after a while, they didn't know what to do with him, and he just couldn't do anything, which is why Brett was basically, you know, played around with, and he was basically, you know, ruined. Like, his character was ruined and everything. But, um... The only thing that was keeping him in the World Wrestling Federation is this 20-year contract thing, which kind of, um, which was a big deal because guys like The Undertaker or Stone Cold Steve Austin or, you know, uh, Shawn Michaels, they didn't get they didn't get that contract. However, Vince gave this 20-year contract thing to Bret, and then eventually Vince told him that there's it's no deal because you know it's too much, you know. Th company can't afford and everything and like it basically continues off and I don't want to spoil the whole entire thing and also it shows some personal stuff that's happened like Brett traveling with his son to a live event or you know him and his wife at home and you know I mean, it's so realistic because you see some scenes where Brett's like can you just turn off the camera which is very realistic I like that um, they also show some locker room scenes where Brett is sitting with Sean after the Montreal fight, and he asks Sean, like, were you in this? And Sean's like, for God fucking sake, I was, God's my fucking witness, I wasn't even in this thing, like, to be honest. And Sean was, like, really terrified, like, he knew that Brett was pissed. And basically, Vince was getting his ass kicked that night, real, literally, by Brett. So, yeah, that was the Brett the Hitman Hart side of the story. I liked it. It was a very, very honest and a must-see story, like Hollywood Hogan said. It's a very, very good, very, very good um, documentary. You, sh you, if you watch this for the first time, your jaws would drop. It's amazing. I cannot explain in words how amazing it is. It's one of my favorite DVDs ever. Um, now let's talk about Owen Hart. Wow. Just see how much it took just to talk about this. How about that? Owen Hart. One word that can describe Owen Hart to me is... Underrated. Owen Hart was one of the most hardworking employees that, that Vince had. I mean, there, there, is a, there, is a, there will never be another Owen Hart, okay? Owen Hart was, or should have been... The WWE or the WWF champion. He should have been the world champion. He should have been the the poster boy, the you know the leader of the World Wrestling Federation. And when I be my leader, I mean the main eventer. You know, Owen Hart was basically screwed as well. I mean, uh, he was basically stuck in the World Wrestling Federation, and it talks about all of his difficulties and all the things that are going on. You know. Uh, he, he's really like he really wants to leave the WWF but he can't because he has to support his children and then here's the big part of this whole entire DVD bigger than the Montreal screw job in my opinion and that is when Owen Hart had a challenge and that was to face his fear of heights and do what Vince says which is to climb up a 78 feet high I believe it was 70 78 feet high um, it was, yeah, 70 feet, uh, no, it was, it was a, a catwalk, basically 78 feet high above the ring. And he was supposed to do this, uh, this, what you call that, oh shit, I really cannot, oh my god. He was supposed to do this trick, or, my god, I cannot even think of the word I'm trying to say. Uh, the stunt, yeah, he was trying to do this stunt, like, like how Sting does in WCW. Of when he jumps off the thing with the rafters connecting to his cord and everything on like that, and he's basically flying like a Superman style. And as you all know, back in the 90s, he was a blue brazer. All right. Uh, so yeah, that was, and then uh, you know the rest. Owen Hart fell, died right in the middle of the ring. Um, it also shows Owen Hart suffering in the WWF when it comes to uh raunchy dirty acts by vince like you know he kept pressurizing him of all this different stuff which you will see in the dvd i don't have to explain to you that much which actually tormented him and wanted him to like just leave like it was just 
it was just amazing how I never knew that Owen Hart was that much of a, a, of a religious type of person. Not religious, but like, like as a good person. Like, I never knew that. I mean, it's a really good thing to know that Owen Hart was a very good guy. He was a respectful guy and everything like that. And I like that. And you can even hear, um, hear from the words of Mick Foley, you know, one of his greatest friends here in the company. And it's really sad, just the loss of a young, young man who had two children and tried their best to support them and everything and that's just how it ended up okay um, and here's the shocking part they even showed the part when uh, Vince was getting sued by Owen's wife and Brett's parents that was a big shocker but yeah um, great documentary on both of those things I liked it I really really liked it and I highly highly recommend it no matter what you're a wrestling fan, you're a Bret Hart fan, you're a, I don't care, just go get it. I mean, it's only $10, are you kidding me? $10 for this DVD, this is way worth more. I really think that you should get this. I might be overly expressing this, I don't know why, but, you know, I'm, I'm in a good mood, I have to say. So, um, I'm not going to rate this too high, but if I were to rate this, I'll probably rate this either probably eight stars out of ten alright eight stars out of ten is a very big deal okay uh, this is a very very good DVD I loved it uh, it was not too long it was like around an hour each or maybe an hour and a half each so in total three hours if you look inside you got two discs so you got one disc on Hitman Heart and the other on Owen honestly every time I watch this video it just gives me chills Anyway, so yeah, that's basically my review on Hitman Heart, Wrestling with Shadows. I hope you liked it. Uh, oh, wait, what is this right here? It said, yeah, 10th Anniversary Collector's Edition. So this came out 10 years later it was made. Uh, it came out on DVD 10 years later than it was made. And it came out when? I have no idea. What? It even has the email? Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so yeah, remember to subscribe to Maverick4197, I believe his name is. Let me check. Yeah, Maverick4179, I'm sorry about that. And remember to subscribe to me. If you like this review, then definitely uh, thumbs up on my vid. If you want me to re request any more vids, go ahead. I'll try my best to make a schedule or an appointment making the video all right so that's basically it for this guys so i highly recommend this video i hope you enjoy it. i mean i highly recommend this dvd not this video sorry about that i highly recommend you to get this video dvd from fye or best buy or amazon whichever it's only ten dollars so you all can get that um so what i was gonna say so yeah remember to subscribe to maverick remember to subscribe to me and i'll see you guys next time on my horror channel peace